is uh, Indomie's way of uh, contributing to the nation's uh, development. I have a word that encourages them to do more. I thank them very much for really celebrating kid heroes of Nigeria. I thank them very much for putting, for saying that toys are not enough gifts to encourage heroes, kid heroes of Nigeria. Well, I'm here because we received an invitation and I'd like to know what the event is all about. I understand we are celebrating heroes and I'd like to be a part of that. Easy, better school, everything, good life. Just have the celebrated in my school. They feel I'm a hero. In the me, keep it up. God bless you. I'm here to celebrate the heroes, the children heroes uh, that uh, Indomie is celebrating today. Um, I was invited to celebrate with the heroes of um, Indomi. Uh, we need uh, this product in Nigeria, so they should keep it on. I mean, this is great, 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 great. Heroes, Woo! I want to see exactly, you know, what's what? happening, so I can't wait to see it. Indomi is great. They are great people, and we wish for them more years to come. Indomie is good for the children, it's good nutrition, as the slogan says, good nutrition, good for you. Indomie, keep up the good work. Nigeria, keep on eating Indomie. May we please stand for the national anthem. say a big welcome to you all to this auspicious and unusual event which is the Indomie Independence Day Heroes Award 2010. This is a corporate social responsibility initiative of Dufield Prima Foods PLC, the makers of Indomie Instant Noodles, especially to Identify, celebrate, reward and award exceptional and rare valency children of Nigeria. Nobody ever thinks about the future generation of this country. Nobody bothers about the up and coming ones, the aspirational group. But one company, one company deemed it pertinent, not just impertinent but also expensive to look at the children of this country, the future of this country, especially those of them that have achieved the beyond the ordinary and felt that there is a need for us to do something to encourage other children to also strive to achieve. And I'm talking about Dufield Prima Foods PLC. And they went about it in a manner that is so clear that there is no impartiality and that nobody is being favored unduly. 
a group of researchers were commissioned to go through the nooks and crannies and crevices and corners of this country to look for children who are exceptional. They went around, came back, and turned in what they came back with in a videotape to a panel of reputable judges. I'm talking about men of means and worth, impeccable men and women. They now turned this to these judges, and the judges took their time. There was a lot of debate. There were a lot of battles. You know how it is, intellectual battles to arrive at the winners. And today we are here to let the cat out of the bag. That is the reason why Dufi Prama Foods has called all of us to come here this evening to celebrate Nigeria children. Ladies and gentlemen, please let's put our hands together for the children of Nigeria that are here. And then for the company who thought this worth doing, a company that has feeding the real heroes of this country, and they have gone further, not only to feed them, but to celebrate, reward, and award them. Do feel Prama Foods PLC. They deserve a round of applause. Please put your hands together for them. Now we're going to move as I invite the CEO of Dufil Prama Foods, Mr. Deepak Shingal, to please step forward to take the welcome address for this occasion. All of you are welcome tonight to celebrate the children of Nigeria. Uh, Your Excellency, the First Lady of Kwara State, Mrs. Toin Charaki, represented by Mrs. Audrey Bafor, distinguished, distinguished Senator Olarunebe Mamora, uh, distinguished Professor Pato Tommy, Honorable Members of the House, Captains of Industries, Award Nominees, Distinguished Guests, guests and all, as they say, all protocols are observed. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to welcome you all to this occasion of 2010 edition of our CSR initiative, the indo -P Independence Day Award function for Heroes of Nigeria. Following the success of last two episodes of 2008 and 2009, we are set once again tonight to celebrate the acts of heroism in children who have made notable sacrifices at great risks to themselves and those who have strived to survive despite the unfavorable conditions they found themselves and have pushed the limits of courage and performance to a new level. This is in consonance with Dufal Prima's core values and deep-rooted belief that in every child lies what it takes to become great. This award is a reflection of the importance and belief of our company in the extraordinary qualities of the Nigerian child which must never be ignored but which must be celebrated. Through the years, Dufil Prima has enlarged its concentration areas on CSR in an effort to continuously impact positively on the lives of our consumers, most importantly, the Nigerian child. The, the joy we feel in giving back to the society as a responsible corporate citizen brings our founding principles to life. Since the award was introduced in 2008, six Nigerian children have received the honor of Valor and several millions of Naira was spent in this direction by us. Tonight, we will award three more children. It was our great privilege to bestow the Indomie Independence Day Award for Heroes of Nigeria, one of them, and to express the profound and enduring gratitude to all Nigerians. But within us, we are hungry for more stories, the stories like theirs. It is our dream to make this a national annual Independence Day event in Nigeria with support from both government and private institutions. There is no doubt that Nigeria is fortunate and blessed with several young people with similar or even superior nature of service and human kindness flowing in them. It is therefore our belief that, we, that they also need to be recognized and celebrated publicly to encourage and inspire more selfless acts of heroism and patriotism. Today we are honoring three new children who are brave. We are honoring them for the good that they have done to our national life by their heroic actions. Many times I've tried to find an adequate definition of heroism 
or bravery. I wanted to find a description that would cover these extraordinary deeds that would tell us something about the lives of these chil little children before whom, whom we stand in admiration and awe. Feats of their extraordinary courage and determination in situations that ordinarily would be bring fear, discouragement and self-pity are almost incomprehensible to us, but they also put us all to the test. We all are extremely proud of these three children. We feel connected to them. We are inspired by them and their sacrifice. From their noble actions, we believe that other children too could perhaps achieve greater things. From their example, we have hope, renewed hope, in those qualities that bind us as humans. We at Dufil are identifying with these acts of courage so every Nigerian child could be inspired to live the life of a hero, a life of selflessness and bravery. I want to congratulate the recipient of this third edition. It is our great privilege to bestow the Indomie Independence Day Award for Heroes of Nigeria on each of you and to express the profound and enduring gratitude to all, of all Nigerians. You have shown us that what it means to be fully human because we live in a world in which we are told no one cares. Your stories are extraordinary. We salute you all. Our main aim tonight is to show your bravery to the world and inspire other children to emulate these deeds of bravery. I like to record my appreciation to all those that have made tonight's event memorable, most especially our distinguished, distinguished panel of judges. It has been a wonderful privilege and inspiration to be associated with such a committed and caring group of people. I also want to thank all our distinguished guests for taking time out once again to be at this unique and memorable event. We recognize and appreci appreciate your expression of love towards our organization. Once again, I thank you all for being here tonight and for being part of our success story. I wish you all a pleasant evening. Thank you for your kind attention. Moving on now, we're going to have a special performance by the band. This is the band called Adrenaline. Take them well and let them lead the way Show them all the beauty they possess inside Give them a sense of pride To make it easier Let the children's laughter Remind us how we used to be Everybody searching for Ladies and gentlemen, I am walking today with a member of the Order of the Comedians of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. 
I have here today comedian Al Capella. Please put your hands together for him as he comes to perform to this August audience in the month of October. A round of applause for him, please. All right, most distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to say good evening to all of you. I say good evening, no. Uh -huh, you know, it's good when we greet in reply. If we no greet, they say we no get respect. You know, it reminds me of how an average Yoruba man would greet you. Permit me to say, because it's only a Yoruba man that breaks the law that says everything that has a beginning has an ending. It's not like that with the Yoruba man's greeting. A Yoruba man can greet dead body we don't die go complain. They greet you every time. Each time they see you, there's a greeting for you. They see you in the morning, a car, or in the afternoon, a car, or in the evening, a car, or in the night, a car, or you are standing a kuduro, you are sitting a kujoko, you are playing a kuereo, you are fighting a kujao, you are in the hold of the secret of a kugo slow. You know, I went to use my ATM card the other day I met a Yoruba old lady. The woman started her card. As the machine paid her, she greeted the machine and show. I said, Mom, it's very correct. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please permit me to say one good evening to you, sir, Professor Patu Tommy. It's a pleasure, sir. And also one of the most spiritual fathers in this country. That's Pastor Tunde Bakari. So it's a pleasure. I would please a round of applause for them, please. You wouldn't know why. You wouldn't know why. Nigeria celebrated 50 just the other day. I wouldn't know how much they finally concluded that, but before then, we heard they were budgeting 50 billion dollars to celebrate independence. I wouldn't know. My growing up days, we don't use money to celebrate independence. There are some songs they sing on our TV stations. You as a Nigerian, you are happy. When you own your TV station, I want to know true Nigerians here. How many of you remember vividly back in the days when you own your TV stations, two hundred independence, you begin to hear, Me, I like my country. I like the land and people. <laughs> but I like the way things were going. Like the white people, for instance, never biased. An average white man, they no send. If not, a white man carries a child in his in her tummy for nine months. Give birth to the child. They can go as far as calling the child any name they like. It doesn't matter. Bush, tiger, wood, slippers, bathroom, eye pencil. I saw one at the gallery. I said his name is Ludo. <laughs> no, it can't happen here in Nigeria. You would agree with me. An average Yoruba man gives birth to a child. They name you according to how you look. If you, have, if you are looking too much, look on. If you are smiling, it's Smiler. If you have rashes, Rashida. If you are dull, Dolapo. If you are fair, Femi. If you are tall, Tola. If you are short, Shola. If you are fat, Fatima. Boleg, Bola. If the child is ugly, Oba Sanjok. Sorry. I beg now, Joko. <laughs> now, we were watching the new advert. Indomie you know, just came up with. Most of you saw the young girl. And you T R I T I O and how you not go spell and where they shop into me? I prefer a policeman to slap me hundred times than an army man to slap me one. Have you shaken some of these army guys in this country? Some of them, if they buy the charge card, they don't scratch it. Oh. One army man slapped me one day, I changed my name. Power officer, I'm innocent. And you know, if a policeman slaps you, sometimes in this country, you can argue with the police officer. Uh, uh, officer, uh, why are you slapping me now? I was just coming on. This boy just might even ask what happened. You are just slapping me. But if an army man slaps you, it's not the army man you're Now the person where they pass in own. As the army man give you, Bowa! And it should be the devil. I do now when they slap me. But I used to have, you know. <laughs> Good old days. Now permit me to do this before I leave. I don't ever remember back in the days. Parties like this, with the songs we hear on our TV stations, we don't even need a DJ. The TV stations were very lively. Things were moving on smoothly. Good song, the days of Two-Face, CDBR, and JT Tom West. When you on your TV stations, very groovy. How many of you remember? The rich station is the first and the best. NTA2. For TV set. AIT was singing one those days. I wouldn't know what they were saying clearly. First among the rest is, the best is, the top is, Africa independent. Hey. Nowadays, when you're on TV station, I don't know what's happening. What that person died. 
para pa para para pa para who be that NTA that was trying now when you are NTA you be like say parana 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 papa para bitch you just give somebody high bp now you want to do 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 one that annoys me most one old man from nowhere who who person where they cry they see do do if you want better television station my friend ladies and gentlemen first thing foremost i want to say you're her welcome and indeed tonight is a gathering of special guests why are we gathered here tonight? We are gathered here to celebrate the Nigerian child. A round of applause for Nigerian children, ladies and gentlemen. The Hindu Independence Day Award is an exciting initiative. It is simply a public, a social, corporate social responsibility initiative from Dufi. We thought about that. What can we do to entrench and imprint something in the heart of the Nigerian child? That when that child grows up, he or she will look back and say, wow, if not for this award, I won't be here today. It's not something you participate in. There is no entries. We search for you. We search for stories. And I will take you through the modalities so that you understand the scenarios of how we go about this award. First and foremost, what we do is to put together or identify an independent research agency. And then we ask them to go to 10 states in Nigeria and ask and look for stories that meet certain criteria. Stories that has to do with sacrifices, stories that has to do with selfless acts, stories that has to do with unrivaled abilities being exhibited by children. Like you agree with me, quality or bravery, like they say, is a scarce quality. And when you see someone who demonstrates one, what we try to do is to encourage them. We have seen stories. Some of the stories you're going to see here tonight, some of you would not believe it. That children, I'm talking about children, 12 years, 13, some younger than that, doing things that even had adults would think twice. In 2008, we found a young boy called Kalibala. Their house was gutted by fire somewhere in Kano. And the little sister, two-year-old girl, was in the house. And everybody was shouting, fire, fire, fire. Nobody could go into the house. But Kali jumped into that house, a burning house, just to save the two-year-old younger sister. He was successful in saving the younger sister, but he was not lucky to get out of the house. And he got his limbs badly damaged. If Kali was standing here tonight and he raised his clothes up, you start shedding tears. Now, that's the kind of bravery hacks we are talking about. We have another young boy somewhere in Agege, they call him Aro Nibata. Razak decided that rather than go on the streets to beg for hands, he will learn something because he was affected by a polio injection and they became crippled by that. And then the mother said, I can't send you to school because I don't have the money to put you on a cab to take you to school and bring you back from school. So there's nothing I can do about that. So the guy decided to learn the how.